maker, she makes your guitar works. So I'm back with Martin, and it's time to glue the back on. So we've got it here pretty much ready to go. I made sure all the glue is scraped off anywhere that there was glue left. Um, and now I have to put glue on both surfaces. So I'm going to move the back out of the way for the time being, put it down here. And I've got my epoxy here on the tray that I'm going to mix up. This is 30 minute epoxy. Sometimes I'll use tight bond. In this case, with the history of this guitar, I'm choosing to use epoxy. I think that's the best option for this particular guitar. I'm just using an old plastic container. You can use the lid, whatever. I got a Harbor Freight grease brush. I cut the end off of it so it's nice, stiff, narrow bristles. I'm going to mix this up. You got to put it on both surfaces. Get it up in there real well. So, just put it on there all the way around, make sure you get a nice even layer, and it don't have to be super thick. If you get squeeze out, you can clean it up with water as I showed you in the previous video. It's got to be hot water, and it's got to be before it dries. Alright, I'll bring you back when I got glue on the back also, and it's time to throw these back together. Alright, so I got glue on both surfaces. What I'm going to do is try not to touch it as much as possible. And get my top positioned. I've already done a dry run, so I kind of know that everything is going to fit fairly well. And so then I'm going to, again, use some of this Stumac tape and hold things in position where I want them. get the binding and everything all lined up the old or get the kerfing lined up where it's separated and I'll be a hundred percent honest with you when you pull the back on a guitar you never get it perfectly back to where it's supposed to be unless you make a new back but anyway so I'm gonna continue around doing this I'm gonna put a block here or a clamp here and a clamp here on the neck and heel blocks and basically that's what I'm gonna do so I'll bring you back when I got everything glued up and clamped up and uh, ready to, at that point alright so I've got everything basically held in place where I want it I'm gonna use these bigger clamps here on the front and back where the blocks are and then smaller clamps around the side you're gonna get squeezed out you want to make sure you get it all cleaned up so anyway guys that's putting the back on uh, like I say I'm gonna continue doing this alright so we got her all glued we got her all clamped 
Uh, I'm just going through and as I'm squeezing these back, I'm just trying to get the last little bits of squeeze out. Top actually lined up really, really good. I'm very happy with the way it lined up. I'm going through and I'm taking the tape off as I'm going because that's less cleanup for me because there is residue that gets underneath the tape. I'll just move my clamp slightly, pop the tape off, clean up a little bit underneath, and then put the clamp where it goes. But the, the tape helps you with your initial lineup of all your clamps, where the back goes, and assures you you get it in as close to the same spot as it came off uh, to go back on. So I always recommend using the tape and you got to use a good high tack tape uh, and that's why I like to use the Stumac orange binding tape. Again not sponsored but Stumac makes some great stuff and uh, there's no denying that. So. This is a job that I love to do, but I also hate to do, because it's really rewarding taking a guitar that uh, is broken, whatever, you know, has problems, and taking it completely apart and fixing it like this. But at the same time, this is why I don't build acoustic instruments, is because it's just a big pain in the butt, you know what I mean? Uh, there's bracing and so many other things that you got to deal with that over slightly get rid of the tape and I just got warm water on this rag and I'm just going through and getting this off of here and that'll just save me some scraping with the razor later I'm actually gonna put I'm out of my mini clamp so I'm gonna put one more big clamp here in the middle Don't take much. This one actually needs moved over some. I want it right in line with the neck. And there, I actually got more squeeze out. So, essentially, that's how you pull repair bracing and reinstall the back on a Martin or any dreadnought or acoustic style guitar that is made of all wood. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like and subscribe. There'll probably be one maybe two more videos on this guitar and uh, then it'll go back to its owner. So thanks guys. Have a great day.